What's up guys, it's your boy Gang. Welcome back to another mod review video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at something really exciting. It's the TLX 2020. I did a video on this previously in Farming Simulator 19. Now it's been released for Farming Simulator 22. Okay, so this mod is by 82 Studios. Or 82 Square Studios, whichever way you want to call it. Um, really good set of modders. Um, things are really high quality, you know, so let's just jump right into it. So from the menu, if you go down to mods and DLCs, go all the way over to TLX 2020 series, you'll find everything from the pack itself. So you have the TLX single cab, which is nine slots. You have the TLX, the TLX single cab 6.7 liter, which is also nine slots. The, the regular one is 28,000. The 6.7 liter is 36,000. All right. Then we also have the, um, the trail boss, which, which is technically the bed, regular pickup truck bed. Um, that's $2,500 and three slots. Um, you have the flatbed, which is 3,500, two slots. You have the tippet, which as you can see, carries every solid in the game. That's 3,500, four slots. You have the, um, open bed tippet, which I, I am not sure what this carries, but I'm guessing it's very similar to this one. Um, actually it might be to carry equipment or pallets or something of that sort. Most likely pallets. Um, next you have the... The liquid, or the liquid, which is, as it states, is a, is a tanker that carries all the liquids in the game. That's $3,500 and two slots. Then you have the logit, which is $3,500, three slots, as it suggests it's for login. Um, you have the yardit, which is $3,500, and that is three slots. This is to carry, like, for example, I think 82 Studios had a a pack that was called the mow it pack which was like a lawn mowing pack and you can put the equipment in the back of it like that then you have the um bail it which is a bail um trailer that's fifty five hundred dollars and it takes three bales and there's only round bales um then you have the tippet trailer which is an attached additional trailer for the tippet that's four slots thirty five hundred dollars holds the same 6,000 to 82,000 liters. Um, liquid, same thing, 5,000 liters additional, and this is two slots, 3,500. This is in addition to, so you can attach this to the back of the liquid trailer. When you purchase it, you can purchase this one and the liquid together, so you have double, you have more capacity. This is the same for the logit. You have more capacity with this logit trailer and the logit attachment itself. This is 3,500, three slots. Um, same exact thing goes for the Yardit trailer. It's just an additional part for the Yardit. Three slots, 3,500. That's basically all you have. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go into each one of these and take a look at it. So in the regular TLX 2020, you have um, presets standard, preset one, back to standard. Then you have um, tire wheel brand, continental, basics, sport, high high perf i guess that's high performance off-road uh, looks like it says modding another modding i guess modding i guess again this is snow with the um with the um chains on it and then back to continental so continental you have standard standard three two and one in basic, you have Nokian duals, duals, Nokian, back to standard. In sport, you have street, Nokian, performance, Nokian duals, and back to street. High performance, you have wide, duals, low profile, which is pretty cool. The truck got lower a while ago. Um, performance, dual, low profile, which is pretty nice looking and you have wides back to performance off-road you have standard performance duels performance duels back to standard modding you have standard performance duels performance duels back to standard and then same for each one of these duels performance duels standard i'm same for here as well only difference is the rim 
Then snow, I'm guessing it's going to be the same as well. Duals, performance, duals, back to standard, and then back to um, continental. Now you have the front grille option. You have main color, design color, chrome, standard. So vinyls, you have standard, vinyl one, vinyl two, vinyl three, vinyl four, back to standard. Extras, you have standard, um, sidestep steel, sidesteps black, bull bar steel, bull bar black, steel extra, so that's both side steps and the front bumper, and that's it in black, and then back to standard. Lighting, you have standard LED bar, strobe bar, bulb bar one, bulb bar two, bulb bar three, one and two, one and three, one and four, one and five, two and three, two and four, two and five, all in one, one, all in one, two, all in one, three, so that's all in three. So that's everything, all the lighting's attached and then that's back to standard. Kits, you have standard, front bumper design, front bumper black, front bumper steel, off-road, off-road main, off-road steel, fender one, fender two, fender three, four, bam, back to off-road one, that's actually off-road one, off-road two, off-road, back to standard. So you have three off-roads before you get to standard. Cab lights, you have standard, rounded, squared. I'm trying to see what this changes. Standard. And then back to standard. I don't see what it changed. Window tint, you have standard, medium, dark, standard. Then you have attachers. Um, standard. Plow mount, so you get something in the front. There you go. Back to standard. Mirrors, you have standard, two mirrors. Back to standard, engine setup. You have 3.3 um, liters, 4.2, back to 3.3. Then you have the three colors, main design and rim. You can change the, the um, license plate, that's about it. So let's take a look at the 6.7 liter. So in this one, all options are the same with exception of the engine size, I believe. So you have, it comes standard with a 6.7 liter. Then you have the 6.7 liter tuned and then back to the 6.7 liter. But just for for the sake of it, I'm going to see if all this, the stuff are the same. So main color, design color, back chrome. All right, so that's the same vinyl. One, two, three, back to standard. Yes, yeah, so all of this looks to be the same. Yeah, all of this is basically the same exact settings except for the engine size. So this comes standard with the 6.7 liter engine. So next up you have the tray, the um the flatbed. No color options for this one. The pickup bed you have the diamond plate which changes the the plate in the back. Rubber back to diamond plate. Lighting standard. Work lights. Strobe lights both, and then back to standard. You have the main color and the the license plate. That's about it. Same for here. Now you have basic capacity, extension which gives you 8,000 liters. Unreal, which gives you 82,000 liters. So that's just like, a, you know, for the game. And it's not realistic. That's why it says Unreal. Then you have main color, design color, and the, um, the plate number. That's basically it. This one, for the open bed, you only have the main color. For the, um, for the Lickit, you have multi-product, slurry, back to multi-product. So you can have it do... Um, all the products or you can have it just the, the it have it has the slurry sprayer which means you can spray slurry directly from it um, lighting standard work lights left beacon right beacon both one and two one and three all in one so that's all lights and you have main color design color plate number for the um, log it you have standard work lights back to standard main color design color and the plates um, for the yard, it you have inactive, active, I guess the decor is inactive or active. So that means that I, I'd have to test that one out. That's actually interesting. So let's look into that one. Then you have lighting, standard work lights back to standard. Then you have the main color and the license plates. The, um, bail it. You have standard lighting, work lighting, strobe bar, both. Then back to standard. Then you have main color, design color, and the license plate. 
this is going to be the same as the truck itself um in the sense that you can change it to basic capacity extension on real you can change the tires to match the truck to match the, the back itself um you can change this from wood panels to painted just like the the typical the, the attachment itself and that's going to be the same all of these going to have the same exact options as the the um attachment they are associated with so it doesn't make sense for me to go through those um what i do want to do is hear the difference between both trucks so i'm going to get this one here and i'm going to put let me get the 3.3 liter as well in the first then i'm going to change the main color to red then i'm going to get the 4.2 liter let's get that go back let's get this one here let's change this to let's keep this as a 6.6 i'm going to change the main color to a very ugly color oh that's actually not bad let's get that and then let's change this to the, the tuned one change the engine the um, body color to a nice orange and let's get that so let's go ahead and test what these sound like all right so this is the normal one not bad horn rb and a all right I love the sound of that engine brake. All right, so let's go ahead and hear what the um, 4.3 liter sounds like. Sounds about the same to me. Yeah, it sounds just about the same. All right, so let's hear what the 6.7 sounds like. All right, there's a difference there. You hear it rumbling more. Yeah, I like the sound of this one. This, this sounds angry and aggressive and mean and you can see the smoke coming out which suggestively is diesel um, let's hear what the tuned one sounds like i'm not hearing much of a difference in this one um, let's try that one again they're sounding about the same um, let's hear what the horn sounds like same horn not bad um next thing i want to do is test out this i want to test this one out the bail it i, I want to see what it does if it's an auto load which i highly doubt it is and then i want to test this one out the active yard it Right, so essentially that's all you do is you back up to it and then hit a it attaches let's go ahead and go forward with it um let's see what it does let's turn this out can i do it with it like that let us so you can raise the, the start it back up so rb and the lb and the right joystick left or right raises the front up or down um, if you do RB, if you do LB and the right joystick down, it actually lowers the back right there, which does that. Um, what else, do, what else does it do? It doesn't seem to do anything else. You can fasten the belts. What I want to test is it says active. I'm not sure what that actually means. So what does it do? Let's see if it says it in the mod hub.
All right, so in looking in the mod hub, I didn't see anything. However, I just got excited because of what I did read in the mod hub. So first off, let me go ahead and go in the store and I'm going to purchase. I want some round bills. Let's get one of this. Let's get one of this. And let's get one of, no, not that, round bills. Only round bills is what it takes. No. Let me go ahead and drop that off. Alrighty, so instruction in the mod hub, let me turn the engine off, says loading operations instructions set to operating mode, drive close to the bale, bale in the middle of the drive close to the bales, placing a bale in the middle of the bale loader, wait for the animation to load, load the bale, repeat three times. Alright, so let's do... RB and X. All right, let's start her up. RB and X. All right. Not very good at instructions. So let's go here. RB and X to put it in um, transport mode. Oh, that is really cool. And then we RB and X again to put it back in transport mode. Oh, wow. All right, so where are the other bales are purchased? Okay. Let's go ahead and try it with these other bales back here. So you do LB and X. Oh, this is so cool. Let's just pick this one up as well. Alright, then now you do LB and X, put it in transport mode. And let's just, for the sake of it, let's go over here. And let's do, how do you put, okay, so LB and Y unloads. Let's see how it looks unloading. Okay, so LB and the right joystick, you push it left or right to put it on whichever side of the truck you want it to go. So let's say there, for example. And then you hit LB again and Y and it unloads the bales. So let's run over the functions of it, how it works, uh, how, how you do it. So let's turn this truck off. So RB, let's actually turn it back on. RB and X puts it in up in, in loading position, which if now if I move in position for the bales, let's back it up here a bit. It picks the bales up. All right, so once it's, it's finished loading them in, you do um, LB again and X, puts it back in transport po um, position. Now, if you do LB and Y, it says unload. So if you do LB and move the right joystick to the left or the right, you see move the position of the bales. Once you have it where you need it, you do LB and Y to unload the bales, and that's the basic functionality of it. That is pretty, that's amazing to me. I love that. So with that said, what I'm going to do is end the video here. If you guys did like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date what's going on, please go ahead and subscribe. 
If you haven't done so yet, please hit the bell beside the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I post a video. And if you have any tips, comments, suggestions, please go ahead and leave them below. I'll get back to each and every one of you. And if there's anything else about this mod or any other mod that you guys would like to know, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll do my best to get a video. Thank you guys for the support. I'm on the home stretch to 500. If we do hit 500, I want to get myself an Xbox Series S. So let's get that 500. Thank you.